Hi, John. I think the um, Saturday night I was – I don't know if anybody's happy with regard to a loss, and I'm not going to go that far, but I felt a lot better after Saturday evening than what I did the previous Saturday where I really, where I felt we, we had lost our composure and we weren't playing the way we normally would play. Uh, with regard to this, this past Saturday against Georgia Southern, uh, uh, we were down by three points at halftime, but it was dead even across the board. Uh, we played, we, we, I, our guys gave it their best. Uh, we were outmanned a little bit, and I think you've got to give, you have to give Chad and the, and, and, and their staff tremendous credit for the job that they had done in terms of preparation and for their execution, especially in the second half. Uh, in the second half, we had an opportunity to come up with some big plays that we were not able to do. Uh, they, they wound up doing a good job of shutting us down on offense, and we were a little bit inconsistent on defense. Our special teams wound up holding them on. And uh, if you recall last week, I said one of the things I was disappointed with was, was a year ago, we averaged almost 90 yards of penalties. And we have been doing much better than that. And last week, we had 85 yards of penalties, which is the worst we've had this year. Saturday night, we had zero. Now, I would rather have a few penalties and do better in the outcome of the game. But it, it wound up saying something with regards to our guys trying to come back, working hard at it, being composed and focused. Uh, so uh, I, I give, give Georgia Southern a tremendous amount of credit and and. And not not just for the game against us, but but for the overall season that that they're having, and I I felt our guys definitely improved from where we were the week before, but we didn't come up with the plays that we needed to come up with to be more competitive at the end of the game. Thank you very much, Coach. Um, could our could our operator open up the line of uh, Dan McDonald? He might be having uh, issues there with his uh, phone. Um, Dan, if you'd like to go ahead and uh, ask a question, please. Morning, Coach. Uh, you, you, you talked about the, uh, the penalties and so forth. Uh, what does that say about your football team that you're, uh, you know, among the, the least penalized teams in the whole country this year? Well, I think it's just, we are, we are, the, the, the guys are focused at being disciplined and we're doing a better job as coaches of paying attention to that. So when we see there is an issue, we don't just yell at the guy. There are, there are reasons why there might be that issue. So why? So if we can solve that particular issue, whether it's a snap count thing or whether it's uh, uh, the, the, the angle that we are attacking something on, whatever it might be, our guys become aware of that. And, and, and if they are really focused on what they need to do in the game, then literally – Right before something like that happens, for example, they're going to block a guy in the back. They, they, if, if they don't see the front number of the guy in the back, they can't touch him. They'll peel off and wind up, wind up hitting, hitting someone else. A year ago, we probably had more block in the back penalties than, we've had, than, than we had any other penalty over the span of this season. I think maybe we had one, if any at all. So it's more a matter of discipline, but it's also a matter of emphasis, which begins in the off season. What have you really learned about your team over these last – you've played some of the really top teams in the conference over the last uh, three weeks or so. What what have you really learned about your football team? I think, number one, that you know we are aware that we're one of the youngest teams, not just in the conference, but in the country. Uh, that'll, that'll benefit us. That'll benefit us down the road, but we still make some young mistakes that hopefully we're not going to make down the road. Uh, the – and, and – and the 70 scholarships that we are currently at relative to 85 that most of the teams in the conference have, that's a 15 scholarship differential. That's a big impact on your depth. So as the season winds up going on and everybody winds up getting a, uh, a bit banged up, uh, this, Scott a minute ago was talking about, you know, because of their depth, some of the things that they're able to do, which is, which is really important. And that, and that would be where everybody wants to be able to get to. So you got to keep your guys healthy. You got to recruit well, but having close to your contingent of scholarships is also a big deal with regard to that. So, I, so uh, we, we recognize now that uh, we are not at the level of the of the. We, we recognize that we're not at the level of the best teams in the league, but we also recognize that we have done a lot of good things, and we're a solid football team, and our guys go after it pretty well. Uh, but we've got to prove that every Saturday. Appreciate it, Coach. Okay, dope.